You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and I made today's video so you can impress everybody at your next party. I'll show you how to make grape jelly barbecue chicken wings. So this video is part of my grape jelly trilogy. It features grape jellies, one of the main ingredients, and this is a link to the other videos. This is absolutely my favorite wing recipe ever. So they can be cooked in your oven, your grill, or you can even use a smoker. I'm using my Cook Shack AmeriQ, which is an electric smoker. And I just add a couple of chunks of charcoal briquettes and a couple of ounces of cherry wood for flavor. We're gonna start with 20 chicken wings. And that's 10 wings cut at the joint. Put those wings in a Ziploc bag, add some Italian or some zesty Italian salad dressing, just enough to coat the wings. Seal them up in that bag, give them a toss. Then you take them out, lay them out on a cookie sheet. I like to cover mine with foil, makes for easy cleanup on that cookie sheet. Add the barbecue rub of your choice. I'm recommending Cosmos Q. So I layer the cow cover or cow cover hot with the Dirty Bird or the Dirty Bird hot. Preheat your oven up to 275 to 300, and then we're gonna cook these wings for two hours. And while they cook, you make up that barbecue sauce. We need two tablespoons of butter, one clove of minced garlic, a quarter cup grape jelly, a quarter cup of chili sauce, a half teaspoon dry mustard powder, one tablespoon sriracha sauce. Okay, we wanna melt that butter in a small to medium pan, add in the garlic, you cook it two minutes on low heat, and then you just add in the grape jelly, the chili sauce, the dry mustard powder, and the sriracha sauce. Bring it up to a boil, simmer it a few minutes, and then set it aside. Okay, after two hours, take those wings out and brush on the grape jelly barbecue sauce and go back into the oven for at least 15 minutes. The ideal temperature for these chicken wings is 175 degrees internal, but cooking times vary depending on what your setup is. So wings cook directly on the rack, they're gonna cook faster than if you put them on that cookie sheet. Use an instant read thermometer like a thermopin and take them up to at least 175 degrees. These grape jelly chicken wings, they're always a crowd favorite. If you use that Cosmos Q rub, they'll be excellent even before you sauce them. They'll be a surefire winner at your next Super Bowl party. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button on your way out. Consider subscribing and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha 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 ha